dietitian, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but in my professional expert opinion, the entire GI tract, consisting of more than 20 feet of small and large intestine, has been infested with toxic bugs that are secretly causing a massive bacterial imbalance within your body. A condition that may very well lead to a long road of pain and suffering for both you and your loved ones, and even worse, become life-threatening. But what makes me say this? Well, like you, millions of folks all over the world are unknowingly creating this dangerous imbalance through the ingestion of bacteria-promoting foods, medications, and other toxic materials that we're exposed to on a nearly daily basis. I'm talking about the use of antacids, artificial sweeteners, diet beverages, and food items. Certain brands of yogurt, ibuprofen, laxatives, alcohol, mouthwash, and even some brands of chewing gum, dishwasher detergent, and toothpaste. What's more, this bacterial imbalance is also directly linked to the use of antibiotics, either prescribed to us by a doctor or those quietly hidden within our water and food supply, especially within meats and dairy products. And if that wasn't bad enough, believe it or not, these health-destroying bacteria Further feed and multiply on something you probably eat every single day, sugar. Fact is, if you suffer from irregular bowel movements, constipation, gas, bloating, acid reflux, indigestion, skin problems, overall sickness, bad breath, fatigue, urinary tract infection, sugar cravings, and or an inability to lose weight, these symptoms are a near telltale sign that your gut has already been infested by bad bugs and has literally become a ticking time bomb. You see, we created this presentation because we want to make sure you never experience what is ultimately a debilitating, devastating, and lonely fate. But you have to watch now and take action immediately before these issues continue to get worse and eventually take full control of your body and your life. Again, my name is Brett Hall, and I'm a top nutritionist and registered dietitian who over the last two decades has helped hundreds of thousands of good folks all around the world correct their gut imbalances regain control of their bodies and their weight, and ultimately start living again. And I'll show you how to do it, too, almost without thinking, in just a few short minutes a day. You see, in this short, fast-paced presentation, I'm going to reveal to you my top four insider secrets to rid your gut of health derailing bacteria, including the easiest trick of all that, believe it or not, takes less than two minutes a day to perform. In fact, you'll be shocked when I show you how my clients perform this trick just twice daily almost without thinking, while still proving to be, over and over again, the number one solution to correcting gut imbalances and alleviating all the negative symptoms associated with unhealthy gut bacteria. So be sure to keep watching until the very end. But before we get into those powerful health restoring tips and tricks, I want you to know that I understand exactly what you're going through and exactly how you feel. You see, while I've been helping people rid themselves of unhealthy bacteria and parasites for more than 20 years, I was once on the other side of the coin, just like you may be today. I too know what it's like to suffer the consequences of bad bugs, including all the symptoms I mentioned earlier like low energy, gas, constipation, and restlessness at night. Listen, when you're constantly feeling sick, tired, and stuck in a rut, it can do a number on your self-esteem and overall morale, and rather quickly. In fact, you yourself may be feeling angry, frustrated, or alone. Perhaps the symptoms you're experiencing are ruining your relationships and taking a toll on your family. Maybe they're even affecting your career, like they did for me at one point in time. Your constant discomfort, stress, and fatigue can leave you feeling isolated. It can be a seemingly hopeless situation. And while I can personally relate, I want to let you know that it doesn't have to be this way. You see, many people think of their gut solely as the mechanism by which your body digests food which is at best an extreme oversimplification, and at worst, an ideology massively contributing to the health problems, weight loss struggles, and autoimmune disorders of millions worldwide. In reality, your GI tract is much more than a digestion center. In fact, it's quite literally your second brain, as well as being home to 80% of your immune system. You see, within your gut reside roughly 100 trillion living bacteria, more than 10 times the number of cells you have in your entire body. And maintaining the ideal ratio of good bacteria, known as probiotics, to bad bacteria is now gaining recognition as perhaps the single most important step you can take to protect your health and further along your fat loss goals. In fact, there are more than 200 studies linking inadequate probiotic levels to more than 170 different diseases and health issues. And here are just a few. Celiac disease, leaky gut, and irritable bowel syndrome. Mood, psychological health and behavioral disorders, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, and diabetes, the common cold, influenza, and pneumonia, liver diseases such as
from top medical doctors and universities. Definitely not just my opinion. So be on the lookout for those, as we'll share the full list of studies with you later in the presentation. Now, to touch briefly on the weight gain and obesity consequences of inadequate probiotic levels, virtually every study performed on the obese population analyzing gut bacteria found higher instances of bad bacteria and lower levels of good bacteria within these individuals. You see, the ideal healthy ratio of good to bad bacteria is 85 to 15 percent, or 9 to 1. Unfortunately, due to lifestyle and environmental factors, the vast majority of the population is severely lacking when it comes to good probiotic bacteria, throwing their gut flora ratio completely out of whack. These lifestyle and environmental factors include, but are not limited to, exposure to sugar, artificial sweeteners of any kind found in diet beverages and food items, chewing gum, yogurt, and even toothpaste, processed foods, chlorinated water, pollution, antacids, laxatives, alcoholic beverages like beer, liquor, and wine, agricultural chemicals and pesticides, and antibiotics for medications and or antibiotics found in meat and dairy products that we ingest. As you can see, these are things that most people are exposed to very regularly, if not every single day, making it almost certain that your gut flora balance is suffering and will continue to suffer unless you do something to proactively correct this imbalance on a daily basis. But as I mentioned earlier, there are four somewhat odd but extremely effective strategies you can begin using today that will ultimately end your struggle with unhealthy gut bacteria once and for all, and finally allow you to get your life back, realize your full potential, and experience the excitement of living a life full of vibrance and vitality once again. The first is regularly eating fermented foods, such as lassi, an Indian yogurt drink, traditionally served before dinner, various pickled fermentations of cabbage, sauerkraut, turnips, eggplant, cucumbers, onions, squash, and carrots, tempeh, and fermented raw milk, such as kefir. Fermented foods are rich in good probiotic bacteria, and their consumption will help to rebalance your overall gut bacteria ratio. Just make sure to steer clear of pasteurized versions, like traditional yogurt, as pasteurization will destroy many of the naturally occurring probiotics. That being said, the biggest downfall with fermented foods is that many people do not particularly enjoy their taste, and the amount you'd have to eat in order to get enough healthy bacteria to really make a difference is a bit impractical for the average person to consume. For example, in order to get enough good probiotics into your intestine from kefir, you would need to slug down six 12-ounce glasses of it every single day of your life. What's more, kefir is lacking in several key strains of good bacteria, so even that wouldn't be enough. The next strategy is to avoid virtually all sugar in your diet. Eating sugar-containing foods actually nourishes the bad or pathogenic bacteria, yeast, and fungi in your gut which can actually have more of a negative impact on your health than sugar's impact on blood sugar and insulin resistance. What's more, artificial sweeteners like Splenda are even worse than regular sugar, as a study performed at Duke University showed it to contain a chlorine atom that kills off the good bacteria in your gut, just like chlorine kills microorganisms in swimming pools. The problem with the no-sugar strategy is that completely avoiding any and all sugar is a tall, bland order for most, and further requires that you give up many of your favorite foods, an option that most folks simply won't be able to adhere to long term. Moving on to the next tip, because gut flora is negatively affected by agricultural chemicals and pesticides, as well as antibiotics found in the meats we eat, another way to rebalance your good to bad bacteria ratio is to consume a 100% organic diet full of chemicals, pesticides, and antibiotics. Now, while this strategy would be highly effective in avoiding many of the environmental compounds that wreak havoc on your gut bacteria balance, it's also extremely expensive and out of reach for most of the population. But what if I told you that there's an even easier way to rebalance your gut bacteria without having to choke down fermented foods, endure the expense of a 100% organic diet, or completely avoid all sugar and your favorite foods? 